Hello, I'm Brandon Christie, President of Retirement Benefits Institute. We'd like to briefly discuss how your sick leave can affect your annuity computation. Let's take a quick look at the conversion chart. This chart shows that if you have, say, 214 hours of sick leave, it would equate to one month, seven days on your retirement annuity calculation. This can be a great addition to both FERS and CSRS employees. Let's look at an example of how this actually works when you begin to retire. Let's assume your retirement date is April 30th, 2017. You were hired May 31st, 1988. So how do we calculate your actual service? Well, step one is, in this example, to add one to your 30, giving us 31. When we subtract 31 from 31, of course, we get zero. Now let's move to the months. We can't subtract five from four, so we have to borrow a year. 12 and four gives us 16 months minus the five months. Now we have 11 months. 2016 minus 1988 gives us 28 years, 11 months, no days of actual service. Now let's assume you had 394 hours of sick leave. That would equate to two months, eight days from our sick leave conversion chart. Let's add that credible service together. We'll have eight days, 13 months, 28 years. Obviously 13 months will create another year. So we actually have credible service of 29 years, one month, eight days. Now, you get no annuity calculation for the eight days. So if you use those hours up at the end of your career for doctor's appointments and such, be careful. Let's look one more time at the sick leave conversion chart. We'll see here that the eight days is actually 46 hours, not 64 hours. So be careful because if you use up too many hours, you could lose a whole month of annuity calculation for the rest of your life. So be careful managing those sick leave hours as you plan for retirement.